Hi guys, welcome to another video of Mathematica Mathematics 2. Now, this is a video that is in a playlist where I am going to talk about the whole course of Mathematics 2. Okay, so the playlist will be in the description below. So make sure you... Uh, you connect to that playlist because I'm going to be uploading a video every time that I can. Okay, so the first topic that we are going to see is the radians and the degrees. Okay, because these are the two methods that we are going to use in order to measure an angle. Okay, so just imagine that. Okay, so we have a circle and this will be the angle that we are going to measure over here. Now, that angle could be measured in radians or degrees. So it is important to mention that there are two systems. We have the circular system that which units are in radians and we have the sexagesimal system which uh, units are in degrees. But it is important to mention too that, okay, we have uh, okay, the degrees could be degrees and minutes and seconds, but I'm going to explain this in another video. Okay, the thing that I'm going to explain today in this particular video is how to transform radians into degrees and degrees into radians, but I'm not going to convert the degrees into minutes and seconds. That will be in another video. Okay, well, let, it is important to mention before we continue that there is an important um, relationship between the radians and the degrees. And one thing is that a P radian, one P radian equals 180 degrees. Okay, this is very, very, very important. Let's say that this is the key of our problems. This is going to be the key and this that will be the the key concept in order to make the the things. OK, but it is not necessary that you know the value of a radian. For example, if you want to know the real value of a radian in degrees, for example, what radian would be uh, 180 degrees over P. Uh, so how much is that? I'm going to use this calculator, but it is important to mention that if you're going to use a cal your calculator, it's important that that calculator is must be in degrees. So how can you do it? You need to press shift and then set up and you are going to choose the number three, the one that says degrees. This is degrees and this is for radians. So we need the number three selected. In my particular calculator, okay, I see all the options, but in your calculator, you must be watching or seeing the letter D. Okay, so how much is a radian? Okay, one, 180 over the value of P. How much is P? I'm gonna press this key, shift, and this one, and that is the value of one radian. So I'm gonna write it over here. That is um, 57. Point twenty nine fifty seven. The units are degrees. Okay. Now it is not necessary that you memorize this value over here. The value that is important is this: one p radian is one eighty degrees. If you want to really know how much, how many degrees is a radian? A radian is. Well, you're going to use this one. Okay. But for example, if you know that one P radian is 180 degrees, well, of course that you can know how much is two P radians. So that will be 360 degrees and so on and so on and so on. Okay. So before we do the problems, I'm going to use a formula that is going to help me, help me in order to solve those problems. And that formula is going to be this degrees over 180 equals uh, radians 
over p and i'm gonna circle this formula and if you are watching this video and you are doing this with me i recommend you to have this formula and highlight it and make a circle or i don't know this one is really 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 important so the first example imagine that i'm gonna have um, let's say 133 degrees and i need to convert them into radians okay that's what i'm going to do and in, in order to do it i'm going to use this conversion factor okay so i have degrees and what i want are radians so i'm going to use this table that i just wrote what i have are degrees so i'm just going to substitute over here and i'm going to say i have degrees so i'm going to write the degrees that i have 133 over 180 equals radians i don't know the radians and that is something that i want but i don't know them so i'm going to write an x because that is something that i don't know and i'm going to write p so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to isolate x so this p goes to the other side and will go multiplying so it will be something like this 133 degrees that multiplies p over 180 degrees equals x now i don't like having x at the right side of my equation so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to switch so it's going to be x equals 133 degrees times p over 180 degrees now the degrees are going to be cancelled because remember those are the units so if you see uh, every time that i cancel and there is nothing left i'm gonna have radians radians i could write rat for short version of radian or you can write the radian now you can say that is the answer mm, yes but i prefer um i prefer to write it okay um and sorry i prefer to make the operation so it will be fraction it could be fraction 133 times p over 180 okay so how much is that so if you see my calculator gives me the fraction because i i just wrote in the fraction and for example this is the normal procedure of this calculator if if this fraction could be simplified the calculator is going to show me the 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 simplified fraction but in this case what i want is the decimal number so in order to transform this number into decimal i'm going to use this key over here okay so i'm going to press this one and this is the value of this 133 degrees converted into radians is this number so i'm just going to write it 2.32 12 and this is uh, radians or rat so that is the answer of this first example okay so let's let's do the the number two okay so this is the example number two in this case we have 2p radians 2p sorry 2p over 9 radians and i need to convert this into degrees so in order to do it i'm going to use the same formula that i have over here so what i have are radians what i want are degrees so degrees is something that i don't know okay so i'm going to place an x on degrees x over 180 degrees remember x is something that i don't know equals 2p over nine radians that's what i have over p radians 
Okay, so the only thing that I'm going to remember these are the units, radians and radians are the units and degrees are the units. So the only thing that I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to isolate X. So that means that 180 goes to the other side, multiply. So X equals, and I'm gonna write 180 degrees, that multiplies fraction two times P over nine, okay? Radians over the P that I have in the denominator and the units, radians, okay? So the first thing that I can do is that I can cancel radians with radians. So I'm gonna have degrees as a final unit. And rem just remember when we multiply fractions that I have A over B times C over D. Okay, so I'm going to multiply numerator with numerator. So I'm gonna have AC over BD. And that's the same thing that I'm going to do here. So I'm gonna place a one, A1 one, uh, below 180. And then I'm going to multiply 180 times 2P over one times nine. So let's do it over here. So in order to do it, I'm gonna use the calculator 180 times two. I'm just gonna multiply the, the numbers. So it's gonna be 360. 360 degrees times P over nine over P. So, what am I gonna do after this? I'm going to use a rule. I hope you remember something like this, A over B over C over D. So in this case, I have a fraction that is being divided by another fraction. So I'm going to use this rule, outside with outside, inside with inside. Okay, so the answer would be outside with outside would be in the numerator, so it was gonna be A times D over B times C. And that's the same thing that I'm going to use uh, here. But in order to do it, I'm going to divide P over one, okay? So it's going to be 360 outside with outside and inside with inside. So this is going to be 360 times P times one is going to be 360 degrees times P over nine times P. Okay, so in here, what I can do, I can cancel P with P and I can divide 360 over nine. And the answer, the final answer for this problem is going to be 40 degrees. And that is the answer, guys. Okay, so I hope you understood uh, these two problems that I just explained. Um, just remember, this is the first video of a series of video. This playlist is going to cover topics like angles, uh, triangles, parallelograms, trigonometry, and so on and so on. Okay, so that will be all for this video. I hope I see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.